Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is three autumnal breakfast recipes. Yes. We've got two sweet and one savoury and they're all using either seasonal vegetables specific to the UK um, or kind of like the flavours that you would associate with autumn mm. like cinnamon and pecans and maple and things like that. The idea with these recipes is to bring you something that's like a little bit more unique. Mm -hmm. So they're all still easy, simple, fairly quick recipes, but they're just slightly leveled up on what you might imagine. So it's not any yeah. like regular old toast or regular old oats. These are the kind of things that you can enjoy throughout the week, but are really lovely to have as a sort of weekend brunch kind of thing too. Definitely. So it's like we've got an oats, a porridge uh, bowl in there. And if you mm -hmm. just had the porridge, then it's kind of not really... What makes it autumnal is those little extra kind of things that we've added to it because obviously yeah, oats in itself. Finesse. Yeah, it's the little finesse, the flavours, the spices. So I would recommend, you know, if you're if you're looking for the very, very basic recipes, we can link some here. But this is for people, you know, if you're really like leaning into that autumnal cozy vibe and you wanna mm. um, enjoy that kind of food because we do. We we love having yes. I'm a big pumpkin pie, pumpkin spiced everything and anything, <laughs> give it to me. So it's like every time it comes up, you see it in Starbucks or something. And you get really excited for it. I mean, anyway, I'm not the only one here. Up your street, the, the first recipe that we've got is a pumpkin spiced French toast. Mm. So let's get straight on with that. So as we said, I am a massive fan of anything pumpkin spiced and I feel like we've tried making just about everything pumpkin spice flavour except French toast. So we set out to create a delicious pumpkin spiced French toast recipe. And the way we've done that is by adding the pumpkin spice flavour into the batter for the bread. So first off, we started making our little maple butter topping so that can go in the fridge and solidify. And then we move on to making the batter. It's a very simple batter. Obviously there's no eggs involved here, but you can't really tell when you've uh, made it up together in the bowl. So we add in the usual things like the flour and the sugar, salt, and we like to add in nutritional yeast as well just to give it that sort of savoury flavour. And then we go in with our pumpkin spice mix. So here in the UK you can't really buy pre-made pumpkin spice mix and we made our own using ground nutmeg, ground ginger, allspice, ground clove and cinnamon. So this batter recipe makes enough for around four slices of bread and we have gone for a Polish sourdough. Um, we would recommend maybe like a soft white loaf or if you can find it a vegan brioche but that's quite difficult to find in the supermarkets but it does have the perfect texture for soaking up all of that delicious batter. We also like to do this thing once we put it in the pan we spoon over extra batter from the bowl especially the one with the spice in because the spices tend to sink to the bottom so you want to make sure you get in all of that lovely pumpkin spice into the batter once it's cooking. So that goes into a hot pan with some butter and you fry that for a couple of minutes on each side until it's nice and golden and brown. You can always keep it in the oven on a very low heat just to like keep warm whilst you're doing the toppings. So for the toppings we have gone for some lovely caramelised banana. So we chopped up our banana into nice thick slices so it doesn't kind of fall apart in the pan. Coated it in a bit of sugar um, to help with that caramelisation process and then again into the pan with some dairy free butter. You don't need to cook it for too long. We did it for slightly too long in this video so it's a little bit burnt but we quite like that um, nice kind of golden look to it. And then you're basically ready to serve up. So top your French toast with that lovely maple butter that we made earlier, the caramelised bananas, then we've gone for some nice pecans and an extra drizzle of maple syrup because why not? Everything is better with syrup. This is definitely going to become my favourite autumnal breakfast. I can see me wanting to have this every weekend from now until Christmas. It is that delicious. I really hope you guys enjoy this one because this is definitely one of my favourites. So the next autumnal breakfast we are sharing with you is another toast, but it's not a sweet toast, it's a savoury toast. So you've probably heard of pairing beetroots with cream cheese before, but what we're making is some za'atar spiced beetroots to go with vegan cream cheese on toast. 
beetroots are a great autumnal ingredient. They are perfectly in season right now, so they're amazing for cooking with at the moment. So all we're going to do is toss the beetroots with some za'atar and some oil and then pop that into the oven to roast. And in the meantime, we're going to cut some nice sourdough into nice thick toast slices and pop that in the toaster. It's really such a simple recipe because the next step is literally just spreading the vegan cream cheese on top of the toast and then topping that with the lovely spiced za'atar beetroot. Just for a little bit of toppings, we're going for some freshness from some parsley, a little bit more of the za'atar and some walnuts for a nice earthy nuttiness. And then to bring out the sweetness in the beetroots even more, we've added a bit of agave syrup over the top. This is such a nice balance of earthy, savoury flavours and the sweetness from the agave makes this much more of a breakfasty thing than lunchy. All right, bon appetit. I'm not sure if this is like a knife and fork kind of thing <laughs> or not. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's like creamy and sweet and a bit unusual for breakfast. Like it's definitely something you could have for lunch or even like have as like a little like starter or appetizer. But I guess like the cream cheese on toast or cream cheese bagel was like our inspiration and then using the beetroot because they're in season and it's quite like an autumnal vegetable. But when you put it with the toast and the cream cheese it kind of feels more breakfasty. Like it's super delicious. Mm. The last recipe that we've got for you today is a really warming, delicious oat bowl so you can't do a recipe roundup like this without including some sort of porridge oats and this is a blackberry crumble inspired baked oats what gets more autumnal than that we're going to begin with making the baked oats and that's going to be grating up some apple and adding that in with the oats and some spices like cinnamon and some brown sugar with the dairy free milk and giving that all a really good mix together we're going to transfer that into a couple of little enamel oven proof pots I guess you could probably do this in one container if you only had the one and then we're going to cut up some lovely fresh blackberries uh, that we got from the supermarket. You could pick them from the hedgerows but I don't think it's in season anymore and then we're going to just submerge them underneath the oats and pop that in the oven for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, whilst they're in the oven, we're going to make ourselves a bit of a blackberry compote. So we've added the rest of the punnet of blackberries into a pan and we've covered that with just some lemon juice and some brown sugar. No extra water needed because as you can see, more of the liquid comes out of the blackberries and it kind of cooks in its own juices. So that will thicken up quite nicely whilst the oats are in the oven. Once the oats are done, after those 20 minutes are up, we're going to take them out of their pots and place them into another bowl. We're doing this just because we like the styling. You could leave it in the uh, little pot to begin with that you cooked it in if you wanted to. We're then adding some granola onto the top of that to give it a lovely crunch and then drizzling that thickened blackberry compote all over and then some pecans as our final garnish along with some dairy-free cream and some maple syrup. So this is going to have loads of energy to keep you going throughout the day and it's going to be so delicious. All of the good sort of earthy, sweet, nutty flavours that you'll be wanting from a autumnal breakfast. Thanks so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed these recipes. Yeah, I hope you're feeling autumnal and you're kind bit of- cozy. Yeah, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy making these over the next coming weeks and months. Um, yeah, because we definitely are gonna mm. be making them a lot, especially that pumpkin spice French toast. I can't wait to have that again. Yes, we've got loads of other videos like this, with loads of great vegan recipes and all other sorts of vegan content on our channel. So don't forget to hit subscribe because we've got much more of this coming your way. Definitely. And we will see you next time. Bye.